what? Yeah. It's going to be a great week for kids to be out in the playground. It looks like the seven day, we don't have much rain in the forecast. Not a whole Eric. lot of rain, not a lot of heat either. Won't be sweating it out all that much. A little more comfortable to go outside, just relax and not think too much about how humid will it be today. Are there thunderstorms today? There are neither of those things in the forecast going forward. There are still some clouds moving across the area tonight. The front is offshore, but there's still a batch of cloudiness that's streaming up across the area. The back edge is just moving past Binghamton in New York, and so we'll get that clearing after sunset tonight, unfortunately. Temperatures mostly in the 70s out there, though. And the biggest change today, the dew points falling back into the 50s, around 60s still in southeastern Massachusetts. But as the night wears on, we'll see more of that drier air nosing its way on down from Canada. And high pressure is basically be the main dominant force in our forecast for the next four to five days as it moves overhead. So tonight, we'll eventually get into those clearing skies after sunset, cooler into the 50s in the suburbs and around 61 in downtown Boston. Tomorrow, looking like a very nice day, a nice mix of sun and clouds, temperatures in the 70s, humidity low, excellent day to be outdoors. Now, as we head into Saturday night and Sunday, a little bit more of a robust onshore out of the northeast and what that's going to do is bring in some of that atlantic moisture and a chance for some scattered drizzle or even a light shower especially during the first half of the day on sunday and in particular south of boston i think the best chance of seeing a little bit of that rainfall so at times kind of a gloomier cooler sunday i don't think it'll dominate the entire day more of a batch that moves through and then some brightening of the skies again it's a day you can get outdoors but certainly saturday is going to be the pick if you're going to be outside if you're heading over to uh, st anthony's feast Congrats to their 100th year there in the north end of Boston. Won't be sweating it out too much. Good eating weather there in Boston this weekend. So low 70s at the coast tomorrow, upper 70s inland. Your coolest conditions will be on the water. If you're heading to the beach, uh, not a hot day, but a nice day to be out there. Good one to play some volleyball or a little can jam on the beach. We're talking 70 to 73 east northeasterly breeze. Water temperatures in the upper 60s to low 70s. Sunday, all right, we might even stay in the upper 60s for a lot of the coastline communities, lower 70s inland, but this is going to be a cool day, our coolest one in a while across the area, and watching for that chance for a little bit of drizzle or a light shower, particularly Cape Cod and the islands. So your best beach day here is going to be Saturday. Farther north and west you go on Sunday, you avoid any of that low cloudiness. So we're heading up into New Hampshire and Vermont's spectacular weekend. Bright skies, comfortable temps, good for hiking or camping. By the way, the National Park Service, free entry, any of the parks on Sunday. It's a good opportunity to check one out. Also watching the tropics here, we've got an area of disturbed weather near Florida. Very gradually going to try to organize over the next few days and move off to the north and east. Closest pass for us looks to be late Wednesday into Thursday, and right now, indications keep it offshore, but maybe a wave maker, and close enough, we'll be keeping you updated on it. Also, a wave way out into the Atlantic. That one will approach the Windward Islands in several days, so quite a ways off still from any land, and that one may get a name. Now, whichever one gets a name first is going to be Dorian. The one that follows will be Aaron. Those two names will probably both be checked off the list here by the time we get toward the end of the weekend. And here's a look at your full seven day. Lots of 70s. 70s all the way across. Mainly dry on Monday and Tuesday. And by late Wednesday, we'll see how close that tropical disturbance gets and if it'll bring some showers to us for late Wednesday into Thursday. But no 80s until probably Friday of next week. All right, Eric, thank you.